All right, folks, this is Chris. It's been a minute since I made a video, but I uh, just made that shirt a little bit ago on the DTG, and it's got no, uh, no white ink. So what we've got going on over here is some of the tools that we're using. We've got an ultrasonic machine underneath the head there. So the head is under the ultrasonic machine, and then that'll run for five minutes. And it's the head submerged in a cleaning solution that I made. 3% uh, alcohol. I use 90, 90 proof or 90%. And then uh, I've got this ruler in here so you can kind of see what the, the look of the water is. You can see how brown it is. And then... Uh, this is some of the fluid that I pulled out of it here. It's got, that was before I ran. I've run two ultrasonics cleanings. This is after two. So I changed some of the fluid so you can kind of see it's no longer clear. It started out completely clear. I'm using 3% alcohol, 30% ammonia, and then would that be 67% uh, distilled water. So it's basically just a little bit of ammonia, 30%, and about 3% alcohol at 90 proof, 91% uh, rubbing alcohol stuff from Walmart. And that's what's in there. And it's doing a good job. It's done four cleanings. This is the ultrasonic cleaner I bought. I got that from Amazon. And uh, I had bought another one, but it was too dang big, so I had to buy this one. And here's their part number, too, if that helps. And it fits in there perfectly. You just take the lid off. The lid's plastic. And if this doesn't work, then what we got to do is we got to remove the head and then put it in this bath. But we're basically going to make a bath out of this. This came from, uh, I don't know, what's that site called? Like uh, It's like the new... Um, eBay or you know Chinese site whatever it's called uh, they advertise this to me um, and it was like $50 and it's got two head holders one that's submerged so you put your head in there and then you'd submerge it and it's got some little feet screwed into the side there for this to sit on and then when you're done because what you do is you hook these lines to the top of the white fill this with fluid and then it sucks out of the bottom here, runs it through a filter, runs it in here, and this pushes and pulls. So you can go positive or negative, and then these are the pulses. And then um, and that's the time, how long it runs. And then you'd, you'd be pushing and pulling the, the fluid through the head like this, using these hooked to the top of the head. And then that would cleanse it out. And then once you get it going good, you'd put this in a, a tube of cleaner and then put keep those hooked to your head and then push 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 instead of pull and you'd hook whoops you hook this one up on the top here and then you'd be able to count how many things are coming in and just sit there and push 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 but anyway right now it seems like this is going to do the job the, the the color of the fluid is pretty good i'm going to run it like a total of 10 times so 50 minutes but there's been some time in between it'll take about an hour and a half to do this and when i'm done i'll run a powerful cleaning from here and see what I can pull out of it and when I'm done with that I'll run another light cleaning just to, to get the head all wiped up clean uh, maybe I'll have to do a manual cleaning underneath with the foam wipes I'm not sure we'll see what happens when I pull this out oh there'll probably be some stuff we want to film stuff we want to get off of there um, and then uh, we'll run a couple cleanings and we'll do a test print and see how it goes you know see if this thing fixed it we'll find out